What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next Bulwark video. This time, as promised, with a double Viper and also the acceleration skill for the Viper, okay? Um, last video, we ran the double glory. If you haven't yet seen it, in the upper right corner is the video with all those fortifiers and max piloting tank skills. And then I was like, hey, um, I think the Viper could be really good because it's really accurate. Uh, it doesn't uh, need many pilot skills to work well. You can even run it completely completely without, uh, which leaves you a lot of skills for making a tanky bulwark. Then you have 500 meters range, you bypass energy weapons, and you have corrosion, which means that you can basically fight a leech robot much better, or a phantom for that matter, robots that have resistance, you can fight them better with, um, with you know, corrosion weapons, because some of their damage re ignores uh, the resistance they have, okay? And that is exactly what I want to find out with you guys right here. Let's go run this. We already have something powerful coming up right here. It's already lasering away. Uh, it's... Oh, it's a Strider. Oh, and he's already... He activated Quantum Radar right before. Um, oh, man. Wait a minute. Oh, yep, yep. See, that's the first Phantom that we're fighting now. And he's coming close to get inside my shield. And I don't care. So, bringing back up the shield here. And launching some nice, sweet corrosion into him. After the last stand, he's still taking damage from it, but it's not gonna be as much. The reload is the problem, man. It just takes forever. Oh, here, here's what I wanted to show you guys. Okay? Here's what I wanted to show you. We're now doing corrosion to this guy. Okay, and he's face shifting. And that is it. Boom. Well, I must admit that the, uh, unfortunately, the corrosion damage is not as significant as I wanted it to be. It's, you, you can do some, some good damage, but it's not that much. And you see who's coming back here. It's the guy who's already died. No, it's a different person, okay. I thought it was the, the guy who we killed two or three times already. I thought that's the guy who's coming back now. So after the last stand... Time to die. That's him. That's the guy that we killed a few times, but he's now standing there AFK. Man, the damage output isn't too bad on these Vipers, huh? It's not insanely good either, but it's okay, I guess. It's an okay amount of damage. Okay, we're running quant quantum radar here. Which means he's gonna go away. <laughs> His stealth was now worthless. Oh, well, not fully worthless, but it wasn't as effective. Okay, and boom. Wow, man, I like this thing. And with the shield, look, we're still full. We can protect teammates very well from incoming damage. <laughs> it's three of us. We're three guys just walking together now. Okay. Still having your shield, man. Okay, let's go for this guy instead. With a quantum radar. Adding corrosion to him, and then him. Finally. And see, the range is pretty cool here. We, we can just go 500 meters far. Oh, wait a minute. I just dropped my, uh, my, my shield here. And now, finally, after all this time, the shield is gone. Uh oh! Now I think we're we're coming in, we're coming to a halt. Our our run is coming to a halt here. <laughs> There's only so much we can do. And this guy is still shooting us. He's non-stop shooting. And there we go. Okay, we've been rocking around with this thing for a long time. Let's jump into this Inquisitor. That's so much fun to use. The Storm Shotgun Thunder Inquisitor. Also a video I've made in the upper right corner, guys, if you haven't yet seen it. Um, it's a super old, outdated setup, but I, you know what? I wanted to run the thunder again to hear, to hear this. Boom. Boom. The sound effect is just really cool. And it still does some decent damage. I didn't know it was a Mercury. Hmm. The fact that it was a Mercury was bad for us here, because it mean, may, meant we take some extra damage. And the problem is I can't attack this guy head-on. Because he's got the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Double 
Okay, I got him here. Oh boy. Yes, okay. Oh no, I, our last stand is already released. But it's, I think that's the the, sm the, la the the smallest worry that we have. Surrounded by titans. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna get away from this guy anymore. Jumping up here. Eventually we would get through his shield, but it will still take a long while. But look how much damage we can still do to this guy. Haha! <laughs> Never seen a thunder doing so well. <laughs> oh man, this thunder has just really done 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 good. Actually, it's not that but the th maybe it wasn't the st I think it was the storms that did well. What? What the heck? He just lagged all the way back here. He was standing you know all the way over to the right and now he's standing here. What the heck? Okay, his his shields are finally breaking. I'm staying out of 100 meter range so that he can't just press the button and kill me with it. He's walking again. He's trying to get into this 100 meter range. See that? And I'm trying to stay out of it. Titan yeah! Titan Slayer, it's, that's right. Boom, 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 boom. I like the sound effect of these booms, but the thing is... Uh, the big boom here is the weakest one. And I think we actually found out that the storm does better than thunder in, in the testing video that we had. That actually does more damage, this thing here. Unfortunately, he's get, not getting locked down. Okay, so now we're having a Titan to play with. He's being attacked from the side, that's great. And I'm being attacked from behind also. That's not so great. Let's see how I can kill a full Titan here uh, with this bad boy. Okay. Maybe we're not killing the Titan because we were getting attacked by something else. Okay, he's locked. Taking all the rockets now. Getting back into cover. And he wants me really- every time it becomes possible to, uh, to hit me, he comes up here and does it. Because he doesn't really want to fight the, the Falcon. The Falcon isn't so much fun to fight. So last time, sir, that's it for you. Oh, no, nope, that's not for hit for him because I can no longer fire at him. But he lost all his heavy weapons. Uh-oh. But that, you know what? That's a great match right here. That's really a great match that we're playing. So much fun. Titan Boom, Slayer. Titan Slayer. Oh, did you see that stutter just then? There was a massive lag. <laughs> wow, it just took like... The, the game was completely frozen for three seconds there. It's not a lag, it was actually really a freeze, frozen thing. What is it? Okay, gotcha, dude. Come on, drop in one more time, right here. Right here! I don't think he has another robot, though. Man, what an awesome match this was. Let's try another one. Because I really want to uh, use that bulwark again. And, and how long this shield lasts, it's so good. The only thing that takes it down immediately are shotgun weapons, like Quadro Shotgun Leech, no chance, it just kills your shield in two shots. Um, but look at the damage, wow, 4 million almost, we haven't run the Titan or anything. But we fought against Titans and they have lots of health. Um, let's go for Beacon Rush again. Hopefully not a sniper map, please. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. Uh, I would say let's start one more time with a Raven. So we can just get in super quick into an advanced position and then try and battle. Ah, that was a weak jump. I won't make it onto the uh, far away beacon. 
So I'm gonna just take this one instead. I was trying to go for the far away beacon, but the jump, the first one, was a really weak one. Even though I waited for, for the slope on the other side. Um, this guy just- oh, uh, no. I wanted to- oh! Oh! Wait, 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 sir! That's not cool. The enemy has an Aochun uh, with flamethrowers behind us. And I don't want this guy to come at us. Here, see, he's currently flaming. Mercury is jumping. This guy is using his shield. That's good. They've all used their abilities now. All these robots had their abilities, including this Ares here. Uh oh. Wow, they're fast. Okay, I walked backwards so I could get inside this guy's shield. I was firing at the Haichi, walking backwards into the shield of the other dude. If we could get one of those shields, uh, one of those locations, that would be so good. This one, maybe. Nope. We lost on both locations. Um, let's keep the bulwark in reserve, okay? Let's keep the bulwark as a reserve and, and run it uh, as soon as we have a beacon capped. Because that's, that's right now our goal. We must get a beacon in order for us to be able to spawn there and stop the en enemy, enemy beacon capping. Yeah, we're doing... Oh, uh, hello. I'm jumping further because I don't want to fight the leech robot. Um, when he has this resistance mode going. But now the resistance mode is gone. I can do some, some better damage. But not for long because, of course, he's got face shift. And there's no chance. I was going to attack that beacon. And grab it. Grab away. Let's, let's use the bulwark. Before the match is over, let's go with the bulwark. Those leeches are really problematic, man. First they hit you with uh, with their shotguns and everything. So he can he's now leeching at us, but see how much damage, how he drains that shield. But we can take him on even despite despite his uh, his his resistance mode, we were able to take him on. And see how accurate the vipers are even at ri range. That's something I really like about this weapon. Ah, uh, right, right. My team is doing a great job right now. They're capping. Okay. Go for this guy here. He died from the corrosion. I'm walking away from him. Wow, the enemy even has this beacon somehow. Man, they are so great. They're so ridiculously good at capping beacons right now. The enemy is insane. He's gonna bring up his jump now. Nice. Okay, finally. It's good, a good moment to attack with, with this leech together. He's got the necessary DPS to bring down attackers quick. Nice. Okay, now we're turning away this beacon. I can shoot through this gap at the Titan. And I should stick with the, with the leech robot. Because I can make him... I can protect him. Not forever, but for a while. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> These things have too much damage output, man. You can't kill them. But now we're doing it anyways. Okay, there goes one of them. Let's stay with that leech robot to be, to be able to provide him protection. He is from a powerful clan. He's killing the titan in the meantime, that's great. Alright, we're going for the leech. Uh, not leech, uh, we're going for, for this guy. Uh oh. 
Oh no, we have an enemy bulwark and this guy is using max DPS. I'm not showing him my shield because my shield will be getting broken double qu quite uh, tw twice as fast. Oh, he's running shield breaker. Okay. I still have my physical shield so I can defend against his his fire for a while. He was running shield get breaker against um a bulwark. That's that's insane, man. I I did run bull uh, shield breaker before, but usually not against a bulwark or so. I'm I I was running it against um against pantheon robots. This guy with his one leech, man, I think he's probably done like 4 million damage or 3 million just in these 2 seconds uh, or these 2-3 minutes where we're running together around here. Okay, there goes him. Now, very focused fire. That's what I what I thought what, uh, what, uh, is the Viper is good for because it, it, it is very accurate with, with its shots, right? The shots don't spray as much as they do on um, uh, on the Avengers, so you have a, you have a much a more accurate shooting, uh, and even at range you you hit very accurately and precise. But look at the damage he just did. With that that one last run with the leech robot was insane. Without him, we would have probably not turned this match around so quickly. Um, so yeah, great great match. We did have bo in both both matches we had amazing teams. Love it, dude. And, um, yeah, tell me what you think about the Bulwark. I kind of think the Viper doesn't really do as much DPS as you would expect from a heavy weapon. It still seems a bit weak. Um, but the the, the aspect or, or the best, best thing about the Viper is supposed to be the Corrosion. But the Corrosion part of the damage is only like 20 or 15% of the Viper. 20% probably. So 80% of the damage you do is, so, is regular normal energy based weapon damage. And only the other 20% or something like this are actually Corrosion that bypass the resistance. And that's the problem. I think if Pixonic would make Corrosion weapons actual corrosion weapons instead of just doing slight bit of corrosion on top of normal weapon damage um, then they would they would really get their specific role in countering resistance right they would be very useful against Fenrir's or you always correct me or, or you don't like how I say Fenrir I think uh, you say Fenrir right Fenrir Fenrir you don't really pronounce the R so much I'm not sure how you do it but I, I do it differently in any case um, yeah, and I think they would get their specific role, especially against Fenrir's uh, Leech robots and, 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 you know, all those resistant things. Titans also. Uh, but since the resistance is such a ridiculously small marginal part, there isn't really much much in, in, in using them for their corrosion at least, right? Yeah, maybe maybe Pixonic could over uh, uh you know over uh, redesign those to really make the corrosion part more and the other part a bit less, so that overall the damage might still be the same, but at least a good 50-60 percent are pure corrosion. Uh, then these things would would really be, or maybe just a hundred percent, whatever, or eighty percent. I don't know. Just a thought. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. As brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me, you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye.